Hey, it was Google I.O. and I'm going to show you a really amazing tool that they showed off called Flow. I know what you're thinking. No, I'm not a speaker at Google I.O. That's just a green screen. I tricked you. But no, seriously, this tool is absolutely insane. So it is the next level of AI video editing. So it uses VO3, Google's newest VO model that they announced today, alongside with a full-fledged video editor. So I wanna start off by showing you the little demonstration clip that they showed. Using this tool, they're able to create this entire little clip. And in this video here, I'm gonna show you how to access this new tool, and I'm going to try to replicate this exact clip that they showed off at Google I.O., which is this guy learning how to drive or wanting to have his car fly in the air with a giant chicken in the back seat. Quick disclaimer, you do need to be in the U.S. for this tool to work. However, it does work with VPNs, so just so you know, and I may or may not be using a VPN. So I'll have a link in the description below where you can access this tool. It's called Flow, and we can hit Create with Flow. So it is a whole new way of creating content. We're gonna start a new project to start. Now we can start adding stuff in the prompt box. So we can do text to video, frame to video, or ingredients to video. So let's try this ingredients to video. This is what they did. So let's upload some ingredients. You can't actually upload. It says a drop coming soon. So I guess for now we're gonna to have to generate an image. Before we continue to replicate the video from Google I.O. and Google Flow, I wanna remind you to click the subscribe button. It's free to do, and I cover the latest AI content on a daily basis so you can stay up to date. Let's try just something really simple, a classic old convertible blue car. We're going to hit create, and it is generating our image, and it has this percentage bar on the right. Why is there four percentage bars? Well, it's generating four images for us to decide. We have option one, two, three or four. I like option two, we're gonna hit use this image. So we have our first ingredient in. Listen, they won't allow us to upload AI data, so we're gonna do the next best thing. We went to Gemini and I said, give me a detailed description of this person as if you wanted to tell an LLM to recreate it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy this, come back to here, and we're gonna generate a new image. So paste, and we are going to generate our data for this video. All right, we have Dana one, Dana two, Dana three, or Dana four. The real Dana and I decided that four is the best, so we're sticking with four, and we're gonna hit use this image. So now we have two images made ready to go for our video. I extracted the prompt from the Google I.O. clip. So we have this one here, a custom gold gear shift in the shape of a head of a chicken age with a patina on a white background. We have our four options here. So we have option one, two, three, and four. The real Dana has spoken, we're using two. So I just zoomed in so you can see it a little bit better, but we have our three ingredients, and now I'm gonna use their prompt that they started with, which is a low angle, eight millimeter wide lens shot, hands shifting gears in a shaky fast car. I think this test is actually kind of fun because it shows that the demo that they did on stage is actually possible to recreate. It wasn't just something that they did that you can't replicate. So we're gonna see how well we can make this. So I tried this prompt a couple of times. So here is the first one. It's a little bit funky. Here is the second one, and it also didn't really work. If we scroll down here, this is this version here. So there are some lights, you can see the hand, but you can't really see the chicken. And then we have the bottom right one here where the shift gear thing is working, but there again, there's no chicken. So we're just gonna use this one, I guess add to scene and here we go. We have our first part of our scene. So now we can hit these plus here and we can extend or we can jump to or we can add additional ingredients videos. So we have ingredients of video. I'm, again, I'm just using the prompt that they used. We're going to hit enter and it is going to generate an addition here onto our video. So we're starting to make our video with different pieces and parts. So we can also drag this back because it is a video editor. So when we look at this now and we want to hit play, we can actually see it's extended back a little bit. So maybe we want to stop it there so it's not too much. And then it will go into the next part that we are generating now. If you look at what it's outputting here, this looks nothing like the one from Google I.O. However, I think I found the reason why. So if we click here, there are settings and we have two outputs per prompt, we can change it to one, but we also have a quality 
tr trigger setting thing here. So we can flip it to highest quality, which is VO3 instead of VO2. So maybe that will make a difference. And if you notice, it says each generation will use a hundred credits. In the top right, I have 12,500 credits. So let's try the same exact prompts. Let's start over. Let's create these prompts again, but using VO3. So here is the VO3 version of the same prompt. You can see her hair and you can see some like driving in the background. It doesn't look better. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with one of these instead, like this one here. So we're going to hit add to scene. This is the one we are definitely using. If you click this arrange button, we can also remove stuff that we don't want. So we can remove some of the other ones. So this is the fast version and you can kind of see it doesn't go towards a cliff for whatever reason, I just can't make it happen. The chicken isn't flapping its wings, but we have this version here where the chicken does flap its wings. Again, no cliff, but at least it looks decent. So let's add that to the scene. All right, let's blow that up for you. Now you can see it better. And let me move this back here and you can see she's shifting gears. She has the chicken in the back and she's just driving along, living her best life. It's a little bit jumpy. I have to do some minor adjustments, but you can see here is what it looks like now. She is shifting gears. The gear stock thing still bugs me because it doesn't show the gold chicken. And you can see her and the chicken in the back. It starts flapping its wings and it is flying in the desert. Let's see here, if we hit the plus, we can hit extend and let's see if we can actually fix this. I also want to try to extend the end of the clip where they are driving over a canyon. So I really want that to work. So let's see if we can get this all to function and look good finally. So here is the extension of our gear shift and there's the chicken. It looks a little funny, I'm not gonna lie, but it's functional and she taps it. So I don't think we need the tap. So let's just go like this so you can see, okay, it's there. And then maybe we can extend out this way a little bit so it doesn't look as funky. So maybe like that, does it flow well? That's the question. So let's find out how this flows. So I think I fixed it. It looks a little bit better. So maybe let's extend this just a tad so you can see the chicken a little bit longer because it is functional now. So there's the hand, it flips scenes. There's the chicken, she taps it. Now she's in her car, the giant chicken's in the back. She's flying towards the desert towards a canyon and we are going to extend this so it all kind of comes together we have recreated the google io clip here is what we managed to create using google flow The entire video was made completely by Google Flow. The only thing I did was go to Pixel Bay, download some audio effects and lay those over top. So it made it kind of come to life and sound a little bit better with how it looks. Now, this tool Flow is very good. It isn't perfect. And truthfully, I think it might be slightly harder than what they showed. Maybe it was my prompts or the fact I cannot upload images yet as a starting point, which would make a world of difference. But I think nonetheless, this tool is phenomenal. You can now start using AI to piece together longer clips and seamlessly, and it's no longer like five seconds here, eight seconds there. You can actually use this tool to make really cool videos. So if you guys enjoy content like this, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It tells the algorithm that you wanna see more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe because I cover the latest and greatest AI on a daily basis so you can stay up to date and leave a comment down below. What is your favorite thing that Google talked about at Google IO or is there anything you want me to cover? So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.